and host waiting in the post by the video store.com. The Fun House is a 1981 horror film directed by Toby Hooper. Hooper made this film between his 1979 television adaptation of the Stephen King novel Salem's Lot and 1982's Poltergeist where he worked with Steven Spielberg. The carnival setting and killer are what set the slasher apart from other movies released during the same time period. The kills aren't anything special and the teens aren't very memorable. Hooper was able to inject some life into this film, however, and was able to achieve a tone that keeps it entertaining throughout. It doesn't reach the level of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre or Poltergeist, but it is still something that deserves our attention. The story focuses on a teenager named Amy and her friends after they decide to spend the night in the funhouse. After witnessing a murder and stealing some cash, the teens are then terrorized by the deformed murderer as they try to escape. The movie grossed $7.8 million at the box office and received relatively mixed reviews that leaned more positive than negative when it was originally released. It didn't seem to make a large impact and it isn't really discussed all that much anymore either. That's rather surprising as it comes from a well-known horror director and was a rather unique and well-executed concept. It has also avoided being remade, which is quite the feat for anything that had any level of name recognition at all. Toby Hooper, the director who terrified you with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre.